So I did hear that vitamin E will stop you from going gray, like if premature gray. <laughs> that sounds fishy. Oh shoot, where am I starting? Welcome one, welcome all to Rate That Down, a Probetus podcast. I am your host, Matt Fisher. This is actually our last uh, last Probetus podcast episode. To my left, to my left is Mr. Phil Irwin. I'm glad you could start the show out with an outtake. Yeah, what, what do you mean an outtake? Speaking out of turn. Yeah, that was, I, I forgot that the, that the mics are on and all that stuff, so... Um, to my left is Mr. Phil Irwin. This is the first time you're hearing our voices. Hi, Phil. Hey, everybody. And across from me is Mr. Mark Jensen, uh, who <laughs> apparently <laughs> is... Uh, I'm in mourning. Okay. Uh, this why? is our last episode of Write This Down. Well, it's called Write That Down. Or so, that like, down. literally, we've done 30, <laughs> five seasons, the, almost 40 episodes, whatever, and now we still don't know the name of it. But he's sad about that, as you can tell by whatever is over his face right now. Yeah, for the listeners head. who can't view this live, like they should be, but Mark is wearing an all-black, is it a doily? Like a table runner. No. <laughs> All black table it's runner. A veil. A veil. Lace. Oh, it, it, sympathy it, it, veil. So you're saying it is a veil? Like, a sympathy veil. A veil of uh, mourning. A, a veil of mourning. Uh, this morning. is what the celebrities do. Okay. So uh, Mark, Mark Jensen right across from me. And then to my right is uh, Mrs. Chrissy Lund. Hi. Yes. Hello. I think Michael Jackson used to cover his children with oh, blanket. black doilies yes, like there that. Was a ch- whatever happened to Michael Jackson's he children passed or away. child? <laughs> He had three. No, you didn't let me finish. <laughs> he, had, he had three children. Are they are they all still living? Yes. Okay. And one of them was named Blanket? Correct. Paris. Paris. And, and Prince. Right? I think so. King? Prince? Okay. Prince. So okay. He's not a king were, yet. <laughs> if you, like me, were wondering what happened to Michael Jackson's children, um, we have one with us today. Blanket. Blanket, who is across from us. And he's in mourning. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't wear that the whole episode. It's, yeah, it's I don't gonna know if I can do out. this. I, I came in early and I saw him. And I'm like, this is I can't. I couldn't even look at him. I I I sit right across from him. I'm just not gonna look at him. I it's, think you should let him start start the show by letting him air his grievances. Do, do you have grievances or are you just sad? Just sad. See, he doesn't have grievances. And summer officially, they said on the calendar ends on the 23rd. Well, that do you still have shorts on with that doily? Yes, I do. It's a veil. <laughs> is it a veil no I, i'm right. kind of on phil's team here like table runner for yeah. sure table runner or doily no, no. Like, isn't just a table runner like a big doily a doily is circular typically oh okay is, is that circular mark nope oh it's not so is it is it it's rectangular a veil. you keep okay he's oh got boy. a veil oh boy. all right so also i will say this um since it's our last episode i wanted to with a question that we had today i wanted to start out with Um, what each of your favorite episodes was that we did and why. And I never really say anything with a question, so I'll go first because it it has something a little bit to do with um, with what I'm seeing today, and this is kind of impromptu. But I went to work today, and my favorite episode was um, season season two, episode six. Um, It was called uh, Go to Prayer First. That's all we can do to really find peace. And I will say the reason I, I picked that one is because um, I'm, for those of you who know me, I'm, I'm a Christian guy. I put my faith forward, and it's the most important thing to me in my life. And I don't talk about that a lot on this podcast, or, or maybe not enough in general, but I, I did want to put that out there so everybody knows that about me, and it's an important thing to me. So that's why I picked that one. And then I went back. I never really watch any of the episodes. We, we shoot them and then kind of go on and do our thing. And I, I watched a little bit of it, and... Before we got to the quote, it was Phil and Mark and I, it was before Chrissy got there, and we were talking about something, and I, I've realized over the past couple of years as we've been shooting this, we've talked a lot about what we wear, and um, then Mark wears this, so it's a good <laughs> good to finish that off, but so Phil and I in that episode had the same color shirt on, and Mark was just perturbed, like, <laughs> you didn't call me, you didn't let me know, and I'm like, well, it's like kind of the same, I think... Phil's was maroon and gray and mine was a maroon shirt and you had like a blue shirt or something on. I wasn't paying attention. But today I noticed that you had a blue shirt on 
So when I went home at lunch to prepare for this podcast, I came back with a blue shirt on and out of solidarity, I was going to wear a blue shirt because you had one on. And then you show up looking like this. <laughs> Not only that, Chrissy's got black on. Okay, you guys and gave me hell last week for not having a Probetus logo. So now I have two Probetus logos on and, and nobody even noticed. And it's black. That's what I noticed. And, and then Phil is wearing a black and gray shirt However, as well. I have a bright gold undershirt on. Do you have the logo on? I don't have a, a, Why any did logos everyone on give me. me such a hard time last week? Phil doesn't understand the memo to wear the <laughs> logo clothing to an event. That's why I'm in mourning. I thought you would have known after <laughs> last week. So it, no, today we're just going to figure out how many times Mark's in mourning and for what. Like this might go on for weeks. You may not know. Can I take talk that about my out. favorite episode next? Please, you're next. Okay. Go. So, first of all, um, ouch, I wasn't in that episode. Second of all, <laughs> I would Are like you really to say hurt? no. Okay. My favorite episode. I don't have a favorite episode because that would make me have to go back and watch them all. But my favorite topics are when we do talk about personal things. It lets our viewers know a little bit more about us. I mean, I know we know a lot about each other, but our viewers don't. But one of my favorite topics was when we talked about your guys's eating shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and your eating habits and Legit. how you wear special shirts. What episode was that? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> it, they all kind of run together. But it, it, I think, if I remember correctly, Phil didn't wear a shirt when it, he I was eating. I couldn't remember who had no. the and eating that shirt. That is not true. Who so has it was, the you eating were, shirt? You were at breakfast and you weren't eating. A, you were eating oh, without right. a and shirt on. And your dad on. called. And and that's I was like, you eat without a shirt on. I have a special shirt. I don't just remember for that at all. <laughs> I do. Oh yeah, that's legit. And I think and you happened. talked about eating your tidy whities. No shirt in your tidy whities. Yeah. Oh man, I. I do not remember that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to look that one yeah, up Yeah, we'll again. have to look it up. I didn't so, have time. Yeah, thank you for that memory, Chrissy. Uh, and Phil, well, you'll have to check into that. Um, I remember when Chrissy said, I am a fish. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> that I, is you, something I did not know about you. And I use that all the time. And it, <laughs> does it, it work? It works. <laughs> yes. yes, it does. It, no more hiccups in the, in the Matt Fisher life. You're right. welcome. Thank you. Phil, how about you? What's your favorite episode? I spent a fair amount of time trying to find the episode where this happened. And I could not find it, but there was one point, I think you asked us, like, if there was something that didn't exist yet and we could, oh. you know, create it, what would it be? And I said, a brisket fanny pack. <laughs> and I couldn't find the episode. I thought it that was, was on... That was recent. I thought it was on one of the unicorn ones. That was only a few episodes but ago. But, like, I looked and looked. I could not find it. So if you're an avid fan and you want to fact check us, like, find the episode where I mention magical fanny pack just producing ready to go brisket at any time. That was my Sounds favorite. Sounds like a one wish kind of episode. It's still something I want. Yeah. I like that. All right, Mark, let's finish it up with you. What's your favorite episode? I had a few, just more of the memories. Like when I got to talk about my basketball career, <laughs> I thought that was a good one. When I got to talk about my career as with traveling with Lord of the Dance, that was a favorite one. And just recently, the North Pier. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. no, that was my <laughs> least favorite. Yeah, that, that, that was uncomfortable. That wig, yeah. Chrissy. My mom yeah. did bring that up to me. Yeah, that She's was like, your last episode was about that, and I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I think yeah. we lost a viewer so, too. And that was one where like it was her first time listening and her last time. And yeah. and parents are Sorry, one of mom. our parents of us are one of our strongest demographics. So uh, we were, we're down like 28 <laughs> percent now because she, she didn't left stop that. listening. Oh, good. Oh. good no, good. 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 Um, and again, this is, this is homework that I give everybody from this production sheet. And uh, as usual, um, it was, eh, well, kind of try and, uh, we failed miserably. Couldn't even tell us what episode it was. But I have, I brought. You brought more? I brought homework. Homework for who? No, I did the homework. Oh, okay. You don't remember what episode though? No, I didn't have time to look it up. Okay. I just remembered the, I just wrote down the memory. All right. Sounds good. You did great. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I did it. All right, let's, let's, let's stop that. with that. All right, so uh, what I want to do is finish with the with our quotes, because now this is the end because the notebook is done. I obviously, Phil stopped writing stuff down. Um, I think I, I could probably fill up a forest worth of notebooks with my deep thoughts, <laughs> but if Phil's not going to write them down, I'm, I'm just going to stop I'm saying I'm glad you them. called them deep thoughts and not knowledge bombs or <laughs> anything like that. Isn't a deep thought a knowledge bomb? Isn't that just like a synonym? Not always. Oh, okay. You can't eat knowledge. <laughs> that, was, that was an episode. That was, was an it episode. Really? Yep. That, that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> that came from my <laughs> mind. Huh? You're right, though, Matt. The, the book is now empty. However, I discovered a page. <gasps> a hidden page? 
it's not your knowledge, but it has a couple Chrissy quotes on it. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. All right. I see a spinoff possibly <laughs> coming from this. All right. So let's uh, let's finish this this up. So this is the quote. Um, I I vaguely remember this, but I I believe I walked into Phil's office, and I said, "What is it if you have tea, and add coffee to it?" And I said, Phil said, "I think it's called a dirty chai." And I said, "Well, if it has a name." I'm trying it. And I did try it. And do you remember, Phil, did I like it? Yeah. What did I say? Do you, I mean, do you have any recollection of? I remember. So you said it was super funny when it happened because, you know, if it has a name, I'll try it. It's like, that's kind of reckless. That's a reckless way to live. <laughs> Very reckless. It's a reckless way to live. But is reckless bad? But in regards to coffee and tea, it's like, you know, he's not going to die. It's pretty safe. So we go to the coffee shop. It was one of our coffee meetings. Is that what it was? Or was yeah. or was I at the office because, or like, did I have tea at the office and you had made coffee and I wanted to no, mix we the went, two? No, we went. It was a coffee visit. So yeah. I like literally ordered this? I think so. So we were at Bully Brew and I ordered yeah. this a, a dirty, dirty chai. chai. Okay. And I tried to describe that it was it was going to taste very planty because that's where the tea comes in. And then you throw the coffee in. The flavors tend to fight each other. And because of that, it has like, it's spicy. The end result is it's a pretty spicy tasting drink. And uh, you said it wasn't terrible. That's, now, just, just so you know, like in my dialect, that's not terrible as me saying that is disgusting <laughs> because like i'm from north dakota and it's like hey thanks for coming and eating my punch that i made at you know this kid's birthday party how was it well it's not terrible we like to say let's not have that again <laughs> yes that's that's a good one Ma, I, ain't that nice <laughs> what, what do you say mark if somebody you know you're you're off you know at somebody's house they've prepared something for you and it is awful like you do not want to eat it, but you, you get it down. What do you say to them? This was the worst thing I've ever had. <laughs> you just throw this recipe away. Straight up, straight no, up honest. Well, why lie? Yeah, you just don't take seconds. It's easy. I just say, where's the garbage? No. So you don't even eat it. Like you're no. just straight up. Uh, could you, uh, I mean, this is like a, a long friend of yours or a cousin or something. And you're at their house and you're like, okay. I'm going to eat this because I have to. They've prepared it for me. And you do what? Mm, ma, doesn't this taste good? <laughs> Why did you get an accent? You, so you put, this do <laughs> you put this doily on your head. Now you're from the South, South and, yeah. you, and, and you have an accent. I, you're, you're really freaking me out, man. Like, bigly. Big bigly. Time. Well, maybe I'm covered up because I had some plastic surgery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're back to the Michael Jackson thing again. Yes. Like... <laughs> blanket following in his father's footsteps Goodness. yeah so so I, I i said it wasn't what did i say it's not it's not terrible, not terrible. and i think so that should terrible. be it, it, i think yes exactly that should be the 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 key is like if you use the word terrible it it's is probably <laughs> terrible or something two not negatives good. not yeah. terrible two negatives do not make a positive mm. in my my vocabulary okay. i honestly didn't don't tell people it's terrible i know you wouldn't mark Johnson. i maybe just say Oh, I just don't feel like eating now. You cover okay, so, it with your napkin and throw it in the garbage. Yeah. Okay, so here's a legitimate question regarding that. So there's people who fish for compliments all the time. Like, oh, did you, how'd you think I did? Or what, what, what did you feel like it went for me? So they've cooked you this dinner and you've eaten it. Like you've done the job and you haven't said, you haven't raved about it. And you haven't like jumped out of your chair saying, oh, I couldn't eat one more bite or else I'll explode. But man i wish i could you didn't say that you just sat there and said thank you for dinner can't people just leave it at that and realize that maybe they didn't cook the best food but no they have to double down and say what did you think of it so chrissy i'm going to put you in that situation okay. since i put um mr doily head doily head from south arkansas <laughs> miss doily head mr doily head <laughs> to you ma'am so so you've eaten this meal, Chrissy, okay. and it, it was not, not terrible, okay. which means it was terrible, okay. but you got it all down okay. and you said, thank you okay. because you're polite. And we didn't leave it that. And the person who cooked it said, what did you think of it? I'd say, oh, it was okay. Oh, 
Because oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay is not terrible. okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay is not okay. Okay, good, good. Okay, so Mark is um, we're we're passing past this because he went to some place down south. Phil, how about you? So you've I'm gonna I'm gonna lay it out like my mom did when I was when I was a child because I did not like my mom used to and she's a wonderful cook, amazing cook. She made this one thing that I didn't like. She made spaghetti with Italian sausage in it. And, and people think, okay, good, like Italian but, sausage. But, but she did like the the link, the Italian sausage link. Yeah. And it was just boiled, nothing done with that. And we've heard from previous, I think, a pre couple of previous episodes, if you're going to boil meat, you better grill it. So this is <laughs> boiled and like put into the sauce. Okay. And then it sounds good to me. Yeah, I, no, yeah, I, I get don't it. Say a problem. But it's, it's served as like one big log. Oh, she didn't cut it up? It. No, she didn't cut it up. Oh. So she put it on your plate and you cut That's it up yourself, which is fine. Yeah. But like, I didn't like it. I didn't like the, the flavor of the Italian sausage. And my mom said to me, what if you go to your girlfriend's house someday and that's what's put oh, in front of you? you say? That is a, a that is, question. that's a good trick. That so happened to Parents me. out there, that's a good trick. So let's say this, you, you've gone to your girlfriend's house. Let's say it's Suzanne's no, it house when you were dating. <laughs> we, we can role play this for real. Okay. So we went to Sharon. Okay. My mother-in-law's Are house. you sure? No. Swear we, to God this happened. No, no, I, I am 100% <laughs> sure it happened. I'm giving you an out right now, Phil. Do you want to go down this path yeah, let's in do front it. of millions <laughs> yep. and tell this story? Because she, she knows the story. Okay, fantastic. So, go. I hate peas. <laughs> Come, I don't care if it's fresh, frozen, in a can. They are diabolical vegetables. Disgusting. And my parents used to just ride me on that they said the exact same trope they're just like you know someday you're gonna go to your girlfriend's house and your her mom's gonna make you peas and you're gonna have to eat it i go out the first formal meal i've ever had <laughs> at suzanne's house and there's peas on my plate when i sit down okay it's not like i can portion it's already there it's passed to me and i'm looking down at this and i'm like this is happening <laughs> I was this is more. happening right now <laughs> like the, everything my mom the said, thing was mom said is coming true and i ate every single <gasps> one that oh yeah boy. yeah that, that proves how much he liked okay. her and she didn't know that you she did didn't not, know that did not I, like when did it. you tell her i ate how every many single years one were you married before you told her the truth <laughs> it was a couple years in so she's we've went, gone over the story and she's like oh that was so nice of you you could have said something i'm like no i couldn't have <laughs> but what did happen is i finish it off you know i put a good showing because i want to make her feel good about her cooking and then the opportunity came would you like some more and i'm like oh that's almost as i said tough no as thank what you. Did you think no thank you i'm full thank you <laughs> Okay. Just boom. Like, so that that is as easier. you said. Where's the dessert? I was no dessert doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, you got a whole Girl, separate girls area. Girls know versus, that. Yeah. yeah. What? Mother-in-laws yeah. absolutely know that. Okay. You can be totally full and, and there's you still, still room eat dessert. Dessert and coffee. Okay, so let's let's say that she didn't say, "Do you want more?" And she said, "What did you think?" Oh, I would concentrate on the items that I thought were great. There were others. <laughs> and I would focus on that so that way it wouldn't feel like a lie as much. Okay. I'm going to really, I'm going to, Shannon's pointing at us right now. Shannon Baker, um, she's outside in the, in the, what do we call it? The, I the can't hallway. See her. Oh, she's no, way over there. Oh, okay. She's like, shopping in the mall. I don't, yeah, she's talking to some people. I don't know. Anyways, okay. that was a squirrel. So, so Phil, let's, let's kind of, just rechange the the topic or not the topic the the meal so there hasn't been a hamburger with the peas and potatoes and all that stuff it's a goulash okay it's a goulash it's a hot dish it's whatever you want to call it there's peas in it okay oh man that happens to me a lot too <laughs> do you eat around them <laughs> do you have it? i'm just trying to play hypothetical here but you're like yeah. you're probably thinking about a real story but let's mark to all of our Probitas fellow staff members, when we have a potluck next time, everybody put peas in your food. Oh my gosh. No, I'm, gonna I'm not going to be nice to you guys about it. No, no way. <laughs> Phil, I don't think you could go without eating. If we if we were there, you would eat. I would, I'd figure it out. But yeah, this happens all the time. Like your classic tater tot hot dish or like a shepherd's pie or like this uh, beef stew. People are always throwing peas in that junk. The villain pea. And so I have to fish it out. So all as a kid, I fished it out. And then as an adult, I just go for it and I'll eat it and just pretend it's not there. There's no way to put it. Is there any way to put Chrissy's video camera so you can get to the door there? So <laughs> mine, we, mine can do it. On our on our last uh, episode go to mine. here. Go We've to mine. got 
What am I? I like cream peas on Groupies? toast. Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Phil's, obviously. <laughs> so Phil's, not Christie's, obviously. So we've got groupies here. We've got, we've got Dave. We've got Shannon. We've got a. Do, does anybody else know the other? I don't. Are I these can't might see. these might just be I random. Think one of them think says that I'm hot. I think it's I, that's I think, the only time that's ever happened to me. I think these actually say. Like, Maybe your hot dish. All right. Oh so yeah, that's what it is. That is unbelievable. So. But right. I like cream peas on toast. Yes. Thank thank you guys for. Oh, yeah. there's Savannah's head. There's uh, Mark Jensen <laughs> and there's Chrissy. Mark, all you're right, supposed to give thing. somebody a I shout think out. We're back. Hey, yeah, we're Shannon back. Baker, shout out to you. Yes. <laughs> So, but yeah, Savannah, to answer your question, literally standing in front of my camera. I eat. <laughs> this it, show has just it all is, gone. It's gone. Apart. It's gone yeah. down. I'll bring it back. All right, I do please. eat the peas when they're in the hot dish because I don't have time to pick it out anymore. I'm an adult. I'll just go for it. Okay, no, I get that. Be a so good to answer role the, model. Yes, very good role model, and that's what we should all do for the childrens. Except for Mark, obviously, who's gonna have an accent and then go like. I like cream peas on toast. I know, but Phil doesn't. So Phil, why would okay, you let's ruin say, the cream and the toast that way? Okay, let's Ugh, just say you've been thing. you've been served cream peas and toast, which everybody knows is delicious. I like to and chew my own peas, <laughs> as opposed to someone else. As opposed chewing to it? the creamed peas. No, 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 oh. no. They're whole peas. <laughs> exactly. Are they? Well, yes. cream corn is not. So no, yeah, but it's going off my okay. knowledge. Chrissy, what? I like to chew my own peas. Yes, because when they put them and they mush them all up and put them in as a big old mushy pile, like nobody wants to eat that. Do you think other people are chewing it no, first? No, no, but it looks like they but did. But you probably fed your babies peas. Yes, mm. yes, you did. That's different. And they, were no, they chewed? They, they didn't have teeth. Oh, okay. Well, maybe these people don't have teeth. <laughs> exactly. So, Phil, all you've right. been you've been Phil given this teeth. dish of cream peas and toast, which you've already said has been you've ruined good toast and cream. But this is the dinner that's been served to you. You've eaten it all, right? Begrudgingly. Yes, he's begrudgingly <laughs> eating it, and I've I've he's seen. He's having it. some bad he's, flashbacks. He's I think. This is his begrudging face right now. So yeah. we're, he's emoting yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. So the meal's done. You don't say. You say thank you because you're polite. Yep. And then that's not good enough for the cook. And we'll say the cook this time is Mark. So Mark has made his favorite dish: cream peas <laughs> on toast. And Mark says to you. Would you like some more? And the recipe? No, 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 no. He, no, he's already got an answer for. Would you like oh some more? You, you, you ask him what he thought of it. So, I bet you thought this was the best meal you've ever had. No, you don't put words in his mouth, Mark. Just ask him how he. Did, did he you like the it. meal? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark. I'm gonna square with you right now. I'm not a fan of peas. Then okay. why'd you eat it? No, no, Phil? no, no, no. Let's see how Mark answers. Okay. You've you've made this now, and Phil has told he's eaten it, and he said thank you. You've asked if he's liked it, and he said, to be honest with you, I don't really like peas. There's the door. You can leave. <laughs> don't let it hit you in the ass oh on the way out. <laughs> Poor Phil. Would that have made you lose your accent? Like, yeah, <laughs> like that would have been enough just to like put you over the top. Your accent yeah, would. He be would have gone. just gone off my meal list. Oh, you've man. been moved from. The A list. I know some people who'd like to be invited next time you make those beans. Beans? Yeah, the be fancy beans you made. With peas in them? Uh, no. Well, there's. Do you, I want mean, me if you want. do you want me to chew the beans first <laughs> and then put them back in the kettle? No, thanks. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, here's another question I have for you. So obviously there's something called a dirty chai, chai, which is something, and there's other there's other like food names and drink names, like dirty stuff. martini. Yeah, well, yeah. I've got some names. Okay, so you want to play a game? <laughs> Whenever anybody asks you if you want to play a game, the answer is always yes. I don't really like peas. You want to play a game? <laughs> want to play a game? Okay, I'm gonna yes, say do, the I name do. of a drink, and you guys are gonna try to guess what's in it. All right, sounds fun. Okay, first one's Jesus juice. Wine. Wine and water. Water. <laughs> yeah. Wine and water. <laughs> no. Yeah. Close. Wine, wine and ice cubes. Wine and Coke. Okay. Okay. I didn't, I've never made these. The next one's a fiery German. Ooh. Fireball and beer. Wrong. Jägermeister and cinnamon schnapps. Jägermeister. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. German. Okay. The next one is a hillbilly Kool Aid. <laughs> what? I had to Google these. Mark, you've had that one. <laughs> I think it is. I'd say it's probably a little bit of Everclear <laughs> and 
<laughs> and Hawaiian punch. And, and Hawaiian and punch. grenadine. And grenadine. Uh, it is grain alcohol, lemon lime soda, and fruit punch. Interesting. Mm. Okay, my last one, everybody knows what this one is. Um, a duck fart. I don't know what a duck <laughs> fart is. I have no idea. Yeah. Nobody knows Mark? what a duck fart is? No, I've heard of it, but I, I wouldn't drink a duck fart. <laughs> Kahlua, Bailey, Irish cream, and whiskey. Right. Oh, it all sounds good, but the whiskey. <laughs> well, whiskey's the best part. So there's some fun drink names. Yeah. Now, how did you have that list? Because I Googled it because I prepared today. She is prepared. She does have a sheet. Yes. So. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Right. The final episode. I thought I would prepare for the prepared. final episode. She finally <gasps> sucked up after. The final so Phil, episode. So Phil has been a good boy the entire <laughs> five seasons. Christy finally on the last episode. She's like, and, she's yep. got this. Yep. Mark Jensen puts a doily on his head. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is what the celebrities do yeah. when somebody dies. And I, they, they do this on Days of Our Lives. Okay. Do you and want, Dallas. Should we talk Mrs. about... Mrs. Ewing. Should we talk when about... When Jacques went down in the helicopter, they had the funeral, she wore a veil. Okay, let's... Jacqueline Mark, Kennedy. You and I for a couple minutes here. <laughs> As I would say we're the resident Days of Our Lives um, connoisseurs in this group. Phil, probably not. Not true. Not. Not true. I've never seen an episode. Okay, so. My whole life. My mom's been watching it since it started. Okay, so you can, you can partake. Yeah. And so... Mark, what is your favorite Days of Our Lives moment? Well, I like I like to watch the, the Christmas one, but then sometimes I can't watch it because it's sad when when they had the whole cast and were still there and you know uh, Grandpa Horton would say, you know, hang the ornaments, everybody their name on there. And then you know what? When he died, Tom died, Alice, she would hang him. And then she couldn't hang him anymore. She'd say, Hope, darling. Will you do the honor? Oh, wow. And then they hang everybody's ornaments, and now, you know, you just end up crying. Yes. Because there are a lot of them have died, except Absol Marlena. Absolutely. Okay. She just keeps coming back. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll let you think for a second, Chrissy. I will transition when you say Marlena. Marlena, my best memories um, as a child watching Days of Our Lives with my mother was when Marlena was possessed by the devil. Yes. And the priest, John Black. Yes was the one that was the exorcist those were those are that was a riveting three and a half years i think that yes. they they ran that one out. i will never forget when she was possessed that was probably my most vivid memory also but also i think with days of lives all the characters who have come back as different characters well, they come back because they they change the character and then when the old character wants to come back they have to change the new character to a different character yeah it's <laughs> the actors you're talking about yes that's yes. what i mean it's like well we can't change their name but then eventually like it flips and they are the same yeah actor, like we brought like, roman back but he was a different actor so then when the real roman wanted to come back we had to make him john black and then i think he had another name again i don't even know yeah bull, but, bull brady was the same way there was like three balls. tom and alice were the same the whole time they does were. anyone ever notice how Maggie. much hope has changed though like she's, she's the same the person same actress, yeah. but like she's so different now like that Her she's older and sammy well, yeah, did, Sammy is Sammy still She's, there? Because she I, left for a while. Did, yeah, she. Yeah, went I don't know. We could talk about this all day. Yeah, all right. I watched Power Rangers. <laughs> I have the. <laughs> so as a child, you at watched the, at the bus Power stop. Rangers. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, we watched Power Rangers in the morning, and then right when you get to the fight scene, I'd have to get on the bus, so I never got to. And oh. if anybody yeah. out there really would like to get into Days of Our Lives, I do have the Days of Our Lives cookbook. So it's all the recipes from. The, the oh, get ready, Christmas. Mom. Christmas is coming. Yep. And like in the weddings, <laughs> I have the official Days of Our Lives cookbook. Grandma Alice's favorite cookies that were on the show. So you do you think it was, send me a link for that. Yeah. Do you think it's real food that they ate? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. Well, I suppose the <laughs> These are the days eat. of our lives. But the crew's got to eat, too, because when they shoot those episodes, I mean, like they, they'll shoot 100 episodes in a day. And it's probably like 40 seems hours. Seems a little straight. high. Yeah, that seems a little high, but... I said like... That it was sounds a, a little fishy, man. It was simile. It was simile. Does anybody like fish? I like fish. <laughs> I like fish. Well, that's a good transition to this question, and I, we might run a little long here, and that's okay. I do have this question for each of you. Is there a, a family dish that you guys make that um, has a unique name that only your family would know, but it's something that like you've thrown together and made like <laughs> it's your family's dirty chai. Dirty chai. Do you have anything like that? <laughs> yes. Okay, Chrissy. I assumed you would because you had prepared I have notes. for this. I don't yes. need the notes, but I w I had to make sure that I had it correct. So, what is the dish that you your family? What makes? is it called, or what is it? Both. Okay, so it's hot dish. You just call it hot dish? No, no. no it's so a hot you, dish. But what do you call wait, it? Wait, wait. I'll get to it. Okay. Noodles, tomato sauce, meat, sometimes vegetables. Okay. We call it myrrh. 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 Okay. How do you spell that? M Y 
R R H. I had to look it up. Liter- like the but, biblical mer. Correct. Got it. Okay. Correct. So when um, when the three wise men went to go bless baby Jesus, the first one brought gold, mm-hmm. and the second one brought frankincense. And the third one was a Lutheran, and his wife said, "You can't go anywhere without bringing a hot dish." <laughs> Bazinga! So That's awesome. We eat myrrh. That's a very oh good. My. One. <laughs> how about how about you, Mark? Do you have a family dish that that is a little different that that you grew up eating or still make? No, not really. We were pretty traditional, but I do have a secret fill dish, like a dish that Phil that told call, you about. No, that I call the fill dish. It has oh. peas in it. Okay. Yep, yeah. Chrissy. <laughs> It has peas in the Jello. It has oh, pea hot oh, dish. Jello. Is it green Jello? Yes. My don't word. you remember when they used to put carrots in the Jello? That's just wrong. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that's right at all. <laughs> okay, so Mark grew up a very charmed life and ate things like steak and potatoes and hamburgers and such things. How about you? How about you, Mar- uh, Phil? So this, so you know the, uh, I guess it's a whipped cream based uh, cold salad. Um, yeah. Bavari- Bavarian cream, like, I don't know. It's like pink. It has cherries, rice, all this random stuff. Yeah. Rice. Cream cheese. We used to call it barbarian cream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> barbarian cream. No, and that's a very interesting name for what you, I mean, it sounds kind of dainty. Did you mean Bavarian and just I, couldn't say it? I don't it? think it, I don't oh. know what it's actually called. Oh. But you, you have it at potlucks all the time, but it's basically just like a, a cold dessert salad with fruit, rice, Cream think, cheese and whipped cream. I think. Do you think I glorified have. rice? No, I, no. I th- that kind of sounds. I like hear you on the rice. fruit stuff, but yeah. I don't ever had rice in it. Yeah, it was weird. And I, you you did say Bavarian cream. Did you mean to say that? Uh, yes, I meant to say that. But That's then the you closest. called it. But then you called it barbarian. Barbarian cream <laughs> is what my uncle Ted called it. So then you called it barbarian hot dish. I or, called no, it barbarian. barbarian. I just copied what he did. Okay, but yeah. I don't know what it actually is. I would. I think, I think glorified race is is what I would. I'd heard that as. So. Is it kind of pink? Uh, no. I mean, it doesn't it's have like to be. If it's got raspberries in it, it's probably pink. But <laughs> sometimes people put my like mom, those little actually, orange things. My mom might be listening. Maybe is she. There can, any comments? I don't know. Oh, so, yeah, your dad says no more cookbooks. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Sorry, mom. <laughs> yeah, too bad. But yeah, if my mom, maybe she can clarify what what it was. But yeah, b- b- barbarian cream. Barbarian. You cream. know, but it could have just been you being a child because we used to. Mom <laughs> used to make the lemon pie with the meringue on top, and we used to call the meringue the boomerang. Oh yeah, that's cool. Because we knew what that word was. Exactly. <laughs> boomerang pie. Boomerang meringue, whatever. That's, all right, last question before we uh, before we finish this this adventure. What's next for this crew? Any parting thoughts, Chrissy? I I, I have a lot of parting thoughts, but. Oh, well, if you had to encompass it into one <clears> like <throat> parting thought. I don't know what I'm supposed to say here. He's, he's fishing <laughs> for you to fishing. say something. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know, Matt. That just sounds fishy. Because we're never going to see each other again after this <laughs> podcast. Well, if you don't, I mean, you're always out of the office. I'm not always out of the you're office. You're always out of the office. I'm, co- I'm coaching football right now, so I'm, I'm gone a lot that of afternoons. That sounds fishy. His name is Matt Fisher. Coach Fish. They do call me Fish. Mark Jensen, do you have any, any plans after this podcast once, uh, once you're super famous and can't walk down the street without a doily <laughs> on your head anymore? Yes. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> The fishy <laughs> listeners we have and the fishies in the pond. But I really want to thank all our viewers for the support and the love. And, oh, my God, they're telling me wrap it up here. And I want to thank my mom. I want to thank my brothers. I want to thank my cousins. I just want to thank everybody. Just world peace, love and all. Oh, and I, such. I, I do think I hear the music coming on. So I will, uh, I will end it with that. And I will say, Phil, Eat fish. Phil, you get the last word as we go out and, with our song here. That sounds fishy. Uh, you sound fishy. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching over the past years. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you ever need to find us, we're on ProbetusPromo.com. <laughs> you guys are always doing weird stuff. Well, that's why people like us. Yeah. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> This is...